Hi, this is David Lee for the James Bond Dossier. One of the great things about running the website is that I'm often sent items to review, some of which aren't even on my radar, so I'm not aware that they've been released. One of the recent items uh, that I received, just before Christmas in fact, was All About Bond. All About Bond has contributions from Godfrey Smith, Honor Blackman, who was Pussy Galore, of course, Dylan Jones, who I think is editor of the UK edition of GQ, and uh, several other people. But the, the main thing are the photos by Terry O'Neill, who first came to prominence in the 1960s as a photograph photographer of uh, celebrities and style. The book contains photos from... Dr. No up to uh, the Daniel Craig era and includes some interesting behind the scenes uh, stills such as this one of Sean Connery taking a nap on the set of Diamonds Are Forever. Apart from that it has Bond girls in various states of undress. Um, it's got action scenes Aston Martins, um, it has uh, somewhere Roger Moore being fitted for a, a suit, um, but one of the things I don't really like is this section on the spoof version of Casino Royale. Uh, I think they would have done better with far fewer photos from the, the, from the spoof and certainly not a section and concentrated on the official film series. Another thing is that, well, I, I wasn't aware that George Lazenby and Jill St. John had dated following um, Lazenby's appearance in On a Majesty's Secret Service, but that's where one of the, the errors in the book comes about uh, that I've noticed. I certainly haven't read most of the book. It has to be said I've just flipped through the photos on the whole. Um, and, you know, uh, I think apart from what I said about the Casino Royale spoof, there are some great photos. You certainly wouldn't see um, some of the uh, photos such as uh, Sean Connery taking a nap and messing around on the set uh, in today's films where the producers always want to um, exercise control over everything that uh, comes off the set. But I don't know if you can see this. Here, it says, St. John and Lazenby dated during filming of Lazen's, Lazenby's aborted second appearance as 007. Well, excuse me. It also says that Lazenby had signed for seven Bond movies, which we know just wasn't true. He didn't sign. Okay, so there, there it is. Um, all about Bond. It, Despite having a couple of misgivings, um, it is definitely worth having for the quality of the photography and um, I, I think it really would be ideal as a coffee table book for anybody who's been in, into the Bond films for many years like I have. Um, for anybody who's just got into the Bond films because of Daniel Craig, then I think it, it holds limited interest. Um, but, uh, it, and for certainly for, for casual Bond fans, it probably isn't gonna be so interesting. But so there you go. You can buy All About Bond from Amazon and other good bookstores, no doubt. And I've written a review on the website as well. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, you can click the link below and it'll take you to that. I hope that's useful. And um, I would love to hear any feedback. Speak to you soon.